Hey guys, I'm Greg. This is Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go check out and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this is a treat. Anytime you see a bottle of got wax coated on top of it, they went to the trouble to, to dip this thing, and actually this thing has almost got two layers. So this looks like this one's been dipped twice. To seal it and make sure that there's no air gets in underneath the cap. And it's got a stamp. Somebody actually, after they dipped it, put a stamp on the top of it. To, uh, I don't know if you can see that from that distance, but I'm not going to walk it around. But uh, somebody's went through a, a lot of trouble to make sure no air gets to this and uh, right fancy stamp on the top of it. This is Black Pearl, which it says is a dark India pale ale. Uh, from what I've read, I'm not, I don't think I've had anything from them, uh, R.J. Rocker. But uh, everybody says it doesn't have a big hot presence for an India pale ale. So we will see. It's a darker ale. So maybe it's just a black ale. And that's what Beer Advocate has it listed as an American black ale. But they're saying it's an India pale ale. We're about to find out. Uh, this is from R.J. Rocker. And they're out of Spartansburg, South Carolina. So I'm pretty sure. I don't, think, I don't remember doing anything from these guys. The, uh, the beer is a rotating schedule. So I don't know how often they do this beer. The food pairing for this being a black ale or a black IPA, they're not technically stylish yet, so uh, your stronger dishes, it should be a stronger beer, your stronger cheeses, your, your blue, your sharp, your cheddar, parmesan, your more stronger cheeses even, gorgonzola, Limburger, uh, and your real meats, uh, beef, burgers, uh, chops, any of your stronger, tastier dishes. The uh, the glass wrap for this, you could use the pint, the becker, the stein, the mug, the oversized wine, the chalice. I've got the Dubell glass, guys. This thing is 9.5%. Uh, being a black IPA, you wouldn't want to sell it because an IPA is technically hoppy and you, you don't want the, for those to diminish and lose those over time. But, that being said, if it's an American black ale, I'm not supposed to be hoppy. A nine and a half percent beer is definitely going to keep for quite a while. So, depending on what style of beer you want it to fall into or what you want it to end up being, it could actually end up starting out as an India Pale Ale and you could sell it and it would turn into a black ale because the hops would diminish over time. So, I don't think I can get the uh, bottle opener on this thing, guys, until I peel some of this wax off. So, instead of letting you sit there for minutes uh, watching me Whittle on top of this bottle. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I, I think I got enough of it peeled off to get the opener on it. Unless you're planning on cellaring this beer for a extended period, I can't see where you would be concerned enough to uh, to want to put wax on it. And being labeled as an India Pale Ale, not wanting anyone to cellar it because the hops will diminish. I don't understand that. If it was a stout or, or a porter or, or, or a barley wine, something that's you know nine percent or, or, or bigger, and you want to sell her, but stating it's an India Pale Ale on the label, a dark India Pale Ale, and then putting wax on it like you want it to sell her, the hops are going to diminish. So I don't know where that's going, guys. That, that uh, that's a little baffling to me. You're wanting to enjoy the hops while it's fresh, even though it's nine and a half percent. They will diminish over time. So with that being said. Let's see if I can get this thing on there. Oh yeah. So we got that off. Now if we don't get it all in our beer, because I've got a wax mask all around over here. Let's give it a pour and see if we can do this. Let's go down the center. Nine and a half. You think we'll get ahead? I believe we will. I believe we will. Look at there. Look at there. We got a good not quite a finger and a half. 
over into the light. It is pitch black. Nothing coming through anywhere. I don't see any any light at all. So it is black as 60 weight motor oil, used motor oil. Black, black, black. Quite a few bubbles streaming up to the bottom of it, reinforcing the head. Looks pretty good in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. See if it smells like an IPA. Wow. No, it does not smell like an IPA. I don't give a large, hot presence on the nose. What I do get is chocolate. Large amounts of chocolate. A little bit of coffee. And just a trace of tobacco. Heavy on the roasted malt. It's, the chocolate is really impressive. It just smells wonderful. And of course the head. We, we down this a little less than a finger of head while I've been snipping and whipping. It smells delicious, guys. Got a nice creamy head, small and big bubbles in the top of that one. Looks very good, guys. Cheers. Bittersweet chocolate, tobacco, roasted malts. Sky. It's got a bitter chocolate. It's got like a bittersweet chocolate too. They use this is a 90 minute bowl they say on this one and it's octo hopped. So what I gather by octo hop, they hop it eight different times during that 90 minute bowl. Wow, that's pretty impressive. That is very nice. A lot of chocolate in that beer. I like that. Coffee, chocolate. So I mean, I'm getting tobacco. I'm getting a good, strong presence of tobacco on that. And I don't smoke. Used to many, many, many years ago. That's very nice. Very pleasant. That's a sipping beer, 9.5%. And this right out of the fridge. Big bottle. It's a bomber. Very nice. Not impressing me so far as in a black IPA. More like what we've got here at, at Beer Advocates calling it an American black ale. It's more of a black ale than a, than a black IPA. So guys, Round the fridge, we're going to have to have a half sip some, and I'll be right back when we do the final chug, but this looks like a winner. Uh, I just think they've got it classified wrong. I know they use a lot of hops, but the hops aren't coming through to me heavily. It's got a little code on the back of the bottle here above the barcode. So if I can find out what that code means, and see what this is put in the bottle. Stick around, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I think we're sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass here. This is a good beer. This is a, this is a real good beer. chocolatey, a little bit of coffee, heavy on the roasted malt, nine and a half percent too, so I'm going to get you there faster. And I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting a little bit of that tobacco taste to it too. A little bit, uh, that gives it a more on the bitter end. But this is a big beer. Now it's warmed up. Yeah, and you can see the lacing on the, the glass there. It's very nice. Battle chug, guys. Very, very pleasant. Very pleasant. That's definitely what's picking up, guys. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to eight, which is a minus. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the wax, but to me, it's got a bitter presence 
for the hoppiness, but it's not to the the IPA presence as far as I'm concerned. It's more of what they've got here is an American black ale. I think it's a very tasty A beer, which I give it an eight in the black ale style. Trying to be a black IPA, it is not. It is not a black IPA. Uh, it's got a bitter back end, but it, it doesn't it doesn't register as a uh, as a bitter as a uh, an IPA as far as I'm concerned. And a black ale, I've had a lot better of those. So it's a winner as far as I'm concerned in the American black ale, but not quite up to snuff as an IPA as far as a black ale. I'm a black IPA. So guys, I'm rambling on. If you had this, or you seen it? Pick it up, give it a shot. Uh, I don't think it was a tremendously expensive beer, but it may have been. As far as, and that's another, another beef I have about the wax. They have to pay somebody to do this, and this one acts like it's been dipped twice. So they've dipped it twice to, uh, to get it in there and do this. So I'm not a big fan of that. That just adds cost, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, unless you plan on selling this beer for years and years, I don't. I'm not up in. I don't understand the wax thing there. So. Especially if it's an IPA, you wouldn't want a wax on an IPA. Uh, it's don't make no sense. So, guys, miss comments back on this one. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the like button, and let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. Join me then.